and today I'm here to react to episode 9 of Get Even on Netflix. This is of course the second to last episode of hopefully the season. I'm really hoping they do get a second season because I really really love this show and I feel like it's not getting as much attention as it deserves. I don't know how it did when it first came out but like it it's great. It's perfect. Like I love all the girls and like there's not even one. What was the other show I was watching that I was saying like there's not a one that I hate? Hey. Oh, Love 101. It's exactly like that. Like, all the characters I love, there's not one that I'm like, ugh, when we get to their story. Like, they're all so equal and they all get to be awesome. And I'm just super, super hoping we get to see more of them because I feel like the acting's great, the main four girls are amazing, and I want to see more of them. Don't take them away from me after I just found them. <laughs> Don't be so cruel. The situation? What does that mean? That has sketch written all over it. She's like, oh, my piece of paper. <laughs> that was super suspect. A lot has happened. That's a good way to sum it up. It's been a week. Like, can we maybe wait a little bit? And what is that going to do for us exactly? Logan is guilty. <laughs> I don't know why I had to have a microphone for that. I guess I was just so proud to be like, guilty. And everyone thinks it's just going to be because he feels bad his friend got arrested. But really, it's because he got, he got his friend arrested. Yeah, but aside from that, you know. Inspirational speech continues. Thank you. Shout out to those close captains. He made you soup? When you were ill? And how did you repay him? You framed him for murder. Margot, get away from him. He's gonna kill you next if you get too close to the truth. Very weird how, like, he was so fine after Ronnie died, but, like, Mika, you can tell, was definitely not planned because he's so, like, disheveled and stuff like that. Why does it matter? Oh. The fuck was that? Trying to sow some discord between them? You knew exactly. Shut up, Logan. Now that I know he's the bad guy, I'm like, everything he does, I'm like, <sighs> don't even hug her. You killed someone. I know he killed two people technically, but like, Ronnie is like, whatever. And then Mika is like, you should not kill him. Ah, uh, it wouldn't be surprising at all if he's helping cover up. You're just gonna stand there or yeah, can you come in and just hash it out? <laughs> Both their faces were like, what? This is just how we talk to each other. Yeah, I mean, she's 16. That's kind of the MO of a 16-year-old girl. That was in the past. I don't know. I just feel like it matters more what she's done now. I guess because she still wouldn't own up to it, though. That probably wasn't good. <laughs> oh. That was a feel better. It's just these two left. Like, oh my gosh, who would have thought? <laughs> that's that's a skillful thing. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh, these two. I love them. I love them together because they're just so opposites. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was Logan. Ed, you can't do that. That's creepy. Uh, I was going to say, you can want to be friends with someone and also have a crush on them. Like, that's... What about the people you game with? Just because you don't see them in person doesn't mean they're not your friends. Oh, Logan's your friend? Honey, this man will strangle you without batting an eyelash. Even though, I guess, pushing people off things is more his M.O. Oh, God. It's just when you see someone making the worst decisions of their life and you can't do anything about it because they don't know, it's, it sucks. The f yeah, I was like, why would he care? <laughs> They're actually doing pretty good, these two. I don't want to jinx it, but... Shame. What is he doing sitting out in a field just staring all emo? What are those people doing? Are they in, like, gym class? They're just, like, bouncing in the background. <laughs> A light jog in place. Of course. Mm -hmm. The height difference is so cute, but I feel like she just has a cute height difference with everyone. 
Whoop, there it is. I'm setting you free. You don't own her. You mean a poem? Or does he mean the, I'm like a bird, I want to fly away. When Shane's dropping truth bombs on you, you should really, if he's like, it's obvious, even though he said he was intuitive, so. Yeah, that one can go. Exactly. <laughs> True that. Oh no, they're alone. I don't trust this. Luckily, they're on flat land, so it doesn't seem like he could push her off anything. Oh, don't say that, please. It looks like there's someone in the floors behind her, but I think it's just the glare of the lights and it's freaking me out. Don't run away to places you don't know. Oh no, they're going up a hill. No, an incline. Oh, buddy boy. We never still don't know, like, was he in Ronnie's house? Like, was it Mika? Like, I'm so confused. I would hope so, it was your sister. I was like, why do I enjoy this up so much? And then I realized we haven't seen Amber the whole time. <laughs> it's just so funny that they were like, we're just friends, we're just friends. And like this whole time, Olivia was right. Like, I know that like he's not dating Olivia anymore, so it's not like an issue, but it's just like, to me, if I were Olivia, I'd be like, so you guys did have feelings for each other. <laughs> I guess because it's like, Christopher got arrested, but I love that these were like finding boyfriends and stuff and like full-on like getting into relationships and Brie and Olivia are the only two that are like something doesn't add up because it's like not to knock Brie and Olivia. I love them, but like Katie's the planner and uh, Margo is the one with like the technical stuff. So you would think like they're the ones that are on top of it, but like the two that like kind of get discarded and I think you wouldn't think of them as like even Brie I think said like oh Olivia like what do you bring to the table exactly but like the two that you wouldn't expect are the ones that are on top of this and are like we're not letting it go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> He's trying to get them together and it's so sweet. The tiniest girl stuffs it in like it's not gonna fit. Oh no. I spoke too soon. Yeah, we don't have a director because he got arrested for murder. Uh, you gonna apologize? No. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> she says it like, apologize? Oh, 100% you did. That is not true. I mean, I get it, but at the same time, you could have explained this to her a long time ago and not make it seem like you were trying to change everything about her. That doesn't make everything better. I feel like this is the definition of a toxic relationship. <laughs> Also, I feel like we need to see that Amber is actually changing. It doesn't matter that you're ready if she's not. <laughs> Focus! I'm so sick of all these girls getting wrapped up in their romance. Bree's the only one that's like, forget a boy. They're gonna set it up so it seems like Kitty's on a date with the murderer and like alone and they're all gonna be freaked out for Kitty and then it's gonna switch and do like that reveal of like actually Margo is the one with the murderer and it's Logan. See, they're both secluded. Oh, they're setting this up so good. Is that the bridge again? Stop going to this bridge. I don't think it's the same bridge, but it does look similar. To be fair, I'm not that worried about Kitty even if he was the murderer because like she does like 50 kinds of sports and I think she could easily handle him. Aww. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you nailed it. For someone who hasn't been around for a year, you nailed it. Aww. Finally, it only took nine episodes for you to figure it out. Aww, she's so happy. I'm happy for her. Meanwhile, <laughs> no, she's, it's not Dante. No. I feel like setting up Christopher is not a Dante move. Setting up Christopher is a Logan move. You have access to his locker. It's why Christopher was looking for him. It's Logan. There's no one about for miles. Don't say this when they're trying to make us think you're the murderer. 
dang it, I always blame, like, why is she driving? And then I remember it's on the right side. Go, Marco. It's like watching a butterfly trapped in a cage and not even knowing it. She's gonna find something. Oh, no, he's back already. What is it? What is it? What is it? Ooh! I never realized before it looks like a body tag, which is even more creepy. It's the man! Run out of that car right now, girl! Look at her face. You gotta hide it better, girl. Get out of the car when there's still people around. Be like, you know, something came up. My mom called. Oh, this is... Her doing driving now is like so intense. Yeah. It's because he's planning to push you off a bridge. <laughs> She flat out just said it. Honey. Mm, interesting. Interesting, he says to the actual person who is part of DGM. Okay, Logan. Wait a second, too. If he's saying that, that means he's copying the murders. Because DGM supposedly committed the murders. So he's not even blinking. Or maybe he's going to blink Christopher and be like, ah, we got caught up and Christopher just took it too far. And, you know, like, I can't tell the cops because, you know, they'll just assume that I had something to do with it. But, like, it was all Christopher. Maybe that's what he's going to say. But I just can't believe how casual he's like, oh, that's, uh, because I, I, I am DGM. Yes, the, uh, people that left a calling card at the two murders recently. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's my group. We, uh, we meet on Wednesdays. We, uh, all bring a little homemade fudge sometimes. It's, uh, it's really fun. I can't believe he was just so, like, easily, like, onto that. And none of the girls except Margot are, like, even know because... The Brie and Olivia are focused on Dante. Kitty is out of it in general, like, doesn't care, isn't looking at anyone, and, like, <sighs> stress. Stress, stress, stress. I knew it was Logan, though. I'm not surprised at all. I'm just interested to see if he's, like, actually in a cop and be like, yeah, I killed Ronnie, and think that, like, maybe he's, like, so delusional that he thinks Margo being, like, I want to run away with you, like, she'll understand and be like, oh my gosh, yeah, you're a hero for killing them, I get it. Or he's either going to try and, like, explain it away that, like, it was him and Christopher. Christopher did all the dirty work, and then Logan just kind of got caught up in it. So it'll be interesting to see that, because I could see it going the way of him being like, you know, like, we love each other so much, like, you understand anything, like, let's run away, like, it doesn't matter anymore. And, like, actually admit to it, but, like, yikes. Yikes, my man. <laughs> so if you've seen this episode, please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down below in the comments. Also, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!